Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're back in Melbourne, Florida, installing an outside sump pump um, because the area is flooding so bad. Melbourne's really getting hit with this after the hurricane, uh, the Northeastern is just sitting offshore here, pumping and pumping and pumping uh, mounds of water, five, four or five inches every day have been hitting this area. So what we're gonna do, so what we're gonna do, and you can see the water already, this is groundwater. And we're gonna go ahead and put a sump pit and a sump pump right here. And the line's gonna discharge across, actually under this concrete, so you can see the concrete saw, we're gonna cut that. It's gonna come across, and right here, we've already installed the discharge from the footer pipe. So we'll tie into that because that's solid pipe and that line runs you know, all the way out to the back. Pretty straightforward job. Unfortunately, it's raining here you know, pretty heavily and so we've got a lot of water to deal with just as we dig. And what we'll do over there is we'll actually put the sump pump down in the pit that we're digging and just continue to pump that water out as we dig. That way we can keep digging, get our pit down into the ground. So let's get started. So basically the reason that we're the reason that we're putting this sump pump, sump pump and pit in here is because this basement, it floods. So what we need to do is groundwater that's rising up. And if we can collect it here, you can see how high that water is. It comes up higher. It pushes through that basement floor. So we could cut the floor inside or we could put it inside. Inside would be a little bit better, but cost is always an issue so let's go ahead and put it out here because this entire area floods also um, why not go ahead and try to get both pieces with the same amount of work is the idea okay so you can see we're getting down there and the groundwater we just keep pumping it out we're using the Zoller M53 with a little discharge hose and it just runs out back just pumps it out you know, into the yard. Whenever it gets too much for the, you can't get the shovel in there, you go ahead and pump it out. Okay, so we went ahead and cut the concrete. You can see our cuts across. And we also added, we're gonna add a small catch basin right here. So we're gonna take this section out and this will all tie into the sump pit. This is actually the discharge. We just need to break this out dig a trench just a little deep, maybe six, seven inches, because this is the discharge under pressure that comes from the pump. So it's just inch and a half pipe. This is gravity that leads over to the pump. That's what's nice about a sump pit, because the pit can go down two feet. So even though this is lower here than the grade here, we can easily send our so now, pipe down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break this concrete out. And the secret to this was, remember when we were running the saw, if you cut clear through the concrete, you should be able to crack a piece off with just a pry bar. And the reason I use a pry bar is because it's so much easier than a sledgehammer. What you do is you just start hitting it on the same place over and over. See how quickly that cracked? Okay, now go ahead and pry that piece up and, and pull it out. You can see just, it comes right out of there. And this is just one guy with a pry bar. The secret is to cut clear through it. He's already got the next crack. You can see it just lifts right out. We're gonna haul that concrete away. We'll continue this process until we take it out. Then we'll trench across it. Again, got it cracked up. You just pull it on out of there. And remember that secret is to cut clear through the concrete. If you do not get through the concrete, you cannot do this. You'll have to come back and beat the heck out of it and you will be tired after you do it. So right over here is where we're putting our pit. You can see we're down deep enough. We're ready to go ahead and set the pit in here. We've already cut off the nipple. This is gonna be the inlet line for a couple of small catch basins. We've also perforated the pit. If you can see the holes in here, we've perforated the pit all around so that the groundwater can enter the system. We'll surround this with gravel as well. We also put them on the bottom, which we didn't do yet. So we need to put them on the bottom to make sure it's not like a boat. We don't want the pit to float up as water. So we just lifted this whole piece out all at once, not a big deal. And we're gonna put a catch basin over there in that flooded low spot. It's gonna come across. It'll tee in right here. We'll put another catch basin as it goes into the sump pit. We're getting ready to set the sump pit. We want to make sure that our nipple is pointing towards the hole and you can hear that water rushing in through those holes. 
that water is going to help hold it down. Joe, you know what? Let's go ahead and put a couple of those pieces of concrete in here. Okay. It has to be heavy. We're going to set some concrete in here just temporarily to help hold our pit in place because remember, it's even though it's perforated, it's like a boat and boats can hold a lot of weight. So no matter how much weight we put in there, it can still float up. So we're ready to go ahead and trench out our dish, our inlet and also we're going to have a discharge line come out here as well. Again, line comes across and it's going to come over. We'll trench this out as it comes across and we're almost done here, almost done. Okay, because we're outside, we're going to go ahead and use the Zoller M98. This is a half horsepower pump and this thing pumps between 60 and 80 maybe even 100 gallons a minute it's quite fast you figure if it's 100 gallons a minute that's three trash cans full of water every minute that's how much water this is going to discharge and so we're going to set that up right now to set down into the pit okay okay so the zoller m98 it sets up the same way as the m53 and basically i've already cut the pieces here let me just show you we start with a male threaded inch and a half adapter and that's one of the reasons I like to use the Zoller M98 is because it does have an inch and a half discharge it makes life a lot easier and very compatible with your M53 if you decide to upgrade screw this piece in there as tight as you can get it hand tight next we cut a small riser and this riser is just to, enough to get above this bar which protects the float can you hear that we'll turn it around see the float as water rises in the sump pit, it pulls up the float, kicks it on. As water goes down, turns it off. So the only difference is, and you could do this on the M53 as well, but we drill a 3 16th inch hole because air can get trapped between pump and check valve. So now we're ready to go ahead and glue that. I've already tightened this no hub band on the check valve. We're just going to glue this up, a good amount of PVC cement. And you push it in and you hold it because it tries to work its way back up a little bit it sets up really quick we're good so that's ready to go next we're going to go ahead and set this down in the sump pit and we'll plumb the rest of the riser which is from the top of the check valve it's going to come up and make a 90 and come out through the the sump pump wall right over there so next we're going to set the sump pump down into the sump basin right over there and we'll plumb from the top of the riser or top of the check valve we'll bring a riser up and it'll turn and it'll come out through a two inch two inch hole on the side of the sump pit right there and discharge across through here okay so we're pretty much done plumbing the sump pit and the inlet line and the discharge line so i just want you to see before we backfill what i've done the Zoller M98 sits down at the bottom, and here's the check valve right here. It comes up, this is called the riser, rising up. <clears throat> comes up to a 90, and then we have inch and, a, inch and a half solid PVC, and you can see it's going to go down and under the sidewalk, and it'll turn, it's going to tie into the discharge line that we already installed um, last week. Then I also added some collections because remember it was flooded here this morning. It was all flooded and you can see the groundwater. We've pumped a lot of it out so it's down low but it's filling up quite fast. So we added a catch basin to help collect this section in here because it's concrete all through there. So this gets trapped like a swimming pool. And the same thing over here. We added another catch basin because this is a low spot and it's all concrete all the way around it. So. She's going to fill this, and these are easily raisable. I've got a couple videos that show you how to raise this up with 6-inch uh, PVC pipe. It just fits right in top, and then the grate snaps right on top of that. You can bring it to any grade, even if it's just 2 inches here. You can bring it to any grade that you want. That'll be your finished grade. So now we're ready to backfill this section, clean all this off. We still have a little trench to do. We're actually not, we're not going there. We're actually going straight over and tying into our existing uh, drain, which is right there. So we'll go over there. We're going to drill a two inch hole right on the top because it drops dramatically and runs all the way back out to that creek. So we've got everything installed. You can see there's the lid to the sump pit. 
This pipe is actually the washing machine, or excuse me, the shower, and it comes to its own little separate drain field that's running out back someplace. We don't really know where that goes. <laughs> so we've kind of scraped this area off. You can keep scraping, Joe. Just scraping this area off. Now we're gonna wash it off, and then we'll make a couple of forms, and we will um, go ahead and fill it up with concrete. We're all set. Okay, so we've got it all installed. You can see the sump pit. We've got the catch basins in place. And yeah, it's been raining, so it looks pretty wet, but it's working great. We've got the concrete down, discharge, and it runs all the way out and over to the creek. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.